I'm joined from the beautiful city of Vienna by Herbert Perus from Life Eisen Capital Management. Herbert, great to see you. Right, uh, what are you looking for out of uh, this particular fourth quarter uh, season? Uh, good morning from Vienna. Um, I'll cover the day starting off this um, earnings season in the US. Very interesting because uh, Alcoa will set the tone for um, this earnings season um, and it would be a very big surprise if Alcoa could not end up this last quarter with a positive tone or uh, with, a, with a slight profit because of uh, picking up in the world economy, because of huge uh, pick up in commodity prices, Alcoa is a cyclical stock we are very positive for Alcoa, but uh, we as long-term investors at Sarai and Capital Management, we are looking at five-year averages of earnings, and therefore this quarter is only a fraction of a five-year period of time. Yeah, but the uh, snapshot, just 5 but, of this. Herbert, the snapshot yeah. here is that you know, we've got analysts saying that this is going to be the best earnings season in something like 17 years. Do you think they're getting ahead of themselves slightly? Yeah, um, analyst predictions. Um, we, are really, we are not really sure um, if this is true because the only thing we know is the past and the future is uncertain. Let's, uh, let's wait and see. Um, but uh, what we can see now is that um, uh, a lot of stocks are still too cheap in the market and therefore the sentiment uh, will be good uh, and uh, these Alcoa earnings will also maybe a surprise and this will, uh, will also lead to a pickup in sentiment again and will um, put some money back into the equity markets from money markets and that we are looking for. Right, if we look back at the second quarter it was all about uh, a growth in earnings taking place because of cost cutting largely so it was uh, the bottom line being mm -hmm. cut but we in the third quarter saw a bit of uh, movement and some growth in the top line the revenue side are we expecting to see yeah. more and more of that if we are genuinely seeing an economic recovery? Yes, this could um, be the case. Uh, we expect that. Um, but um, the most important thing as an investor uh, is uh, look at uh, not only the, the quarter numbers, look at balance sheets, look at price book values. Uh, I think that, that is for more importance. But uh, uh, again, what also is uh, very important is the sentiment. Uh, and most of the uh, investors are still not invested in the market uh, large. Uh, equity fund managers are underinvested, insurance companies are underinvested, and therefore um, th this, is, this will be positive for the market for the next month or so, I see. Herbert, uh, you look at distressed companies, we've just been talking about some of those companies which have been ignored and they look cheap at the moment. So what are you talking about here? Which, yeah. which are the companies more specifically? Yeah, uh, low price to book values, high uh, dividend yields, low long-term PEs. Uh, distressed companies not liked by analysts and uh, particular these are stocks out of Europe uh, mostly because Europe is much cheaper than the US at the moment. These are stocks out of the paper industry in Finland, uh, Stora Enzo or UPM Kümene we like a lot. These are companies in the transportation sector nobody likes at the moment. This is for instance Möller Maersk, a Danish transportation company or one and the other financial stocks a uh, financial stock like Bank of Cyprus or Areal Bank in Germany we like a lot. Nobody likes them at the moment. That's good for future performance. Herbert, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day.